Hi everyone, it's Naomi Kanak from Encouragement from the Word of God. God is faithful and today I just want to encourage you and to read Psalm Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31. It says, But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. It talks about you and me those who hope in the Lord. Do you hope in the Lord? Do you trust the Lord? God is saying to you and me, if we trust in God, if we hope in God, we will be renewed. Our strength will be renewed and that we will soar on wings like eagles and we will run and not grow weary and we will walk and not be faint. Do you, do you need your strength to be renewed? I know that I need my strength to be renewed. Um, end of the day, I feel tired and exhausted sometimes with life's things that come um, on your face. And God wants to renew our strength every day. We don't have to depend on, on our only strength that we have, but we can be renewed with God's strength every day. And God wants to strengthen you and me today. God loves you and me so much. He wants to strengthen us. And he has promised in Isaiah, chapter 40 verse 31 saying that those who hope in the Lord if we hope in God if we trust in him if we have faith in God our strength will be renewed and we will soar on wings like eagles if you know eagles they fly up in the sky above the clouds and they soar they don't have to do anything they just soar they don't have to flutter their wings they just just soar and God will give us strength and renew our strength that we don't have to flutter our wings. We don't have to do any extra thing. God will help us to soar up above the clouds. And he says that we will run and not get weary. Sometimes we run in our life. So many things. Everyone has a race to run in this life that everyone has. And God is saying when we run, we will not go weary. You know, when you run a race, you feel tired and weary. But God is saying, if we hope in Him, if we trust in Him, if we have faith in Him, we will run and not get weary, not get tired. And we will walk and not faint. Have you gone on a walk, a walkathon, where you walk and you won't just want to faint or you just want to stop walking? God is telling you and me, in the walk of life, we will walk. If we have hope in God, if we have faith in God, we will walk and not faint. God will strengthen us. God will renew our strength that we will not faint. We will not be weary. What a beautiful scripture verse that is. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31. I just want to talk with you about um, eagles when God says that he will give us, um, help us to soar on wings like eagles just want to find a few things about eagles so God says that he um, he has compassion on us and he is tender like the eagles eagles are usually a tender creature to their babies they are eaglets um, eagle mom, mom um, is really tender to the eaglets so just like that God is tender to us and God is with us and God helps us so in um, Psalms I'm going to read the scripture for you. Psalm 46 verse 1, it says, God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. E eagles look out for the eaglets, um, look out for the babies to see if any harm can come on them. And they build a nest up in the sky, up in uh, on top of rocks, so that nothing can harm them. So just like that, God is our refuge and strength, ever-present help in trouble. Eaglets are, um, eagles are always watching over the eaglets and watching over the kids just like that our God is our father he's watching over you and me and he is ever present in time of trouble when in time of trouble we don't have to worry about anything because he's watching over us and he says that he is our help and strength in time of trouble and also it says that um, eaglets defenders defenders the eaglets the eagle defends the eaglets so the eagle is watching to see if any danger is coming to defend against 
if there's a snake coming it'll fight against it and defend the eclipse so just like that in psalm chapter um, 46 verse 1 it says that god is our um, refuge and strength ever present to help in trouble and he says in deuteronomy chapter 30 31 verse 6 it says be strong and courageous do not be afraid or terrified because of them for the lord your god goes with you he will never leave you nor forsake you god is going with us he's telling you and me do not be afraid do not be anxious do not be terrified because of them god is saying to us god is going with us god is with us and god is with us and he's going with us and he will never leave us nor forsake us just like the eagle is on looking at the eaglets god is telling us you and me do not be terrified of whatever's coming because i am with you i will watch over you i will hold your hand and god is saying that he is with us do not be afraid i will never leave you nor forsake you god is telling to you and me and the next one we can see is um the eagle after he sees the he after the eagle sees the babies the eaglets are big he is stirring the nest he doesn't want the eaglets to stay in the nest and depend on the mother forever but the eagle does his he's stirring the nest he takes all these comfortable pieces in the nest he takes all the things he gives them less food and he wants them to fly he wants them not to stay permanently in the nest just like that God wants, God is stirring our nest. God is, uh, sometimes we go through difficulties, hardships to be stirred so that we would depend on God. We would try to fly and we would not completely wait for miracle to happen and fall into our lap. But we would walk by faith. So just like that, the eagles, he, uh, eagles come and stir the nest. He stir in the nest he will take the pieces out that are comfortable cushions on the in the nest and he will feed them less food then what happens the eaglets have to go out eaglets will have to come out of the nest so just like that in Isaiah chapter 31 verse 5 it says like birds hovering overhead the Lord Almighty will shield Jerusalem he will shield it and deliver it he will pass over it and will rescue it He's talking about God hovering over Israel, the Lord Almighty. He is with us. He's hovering over us and he's stirring our nest so that we will not be comfortable in our nest and depend on everything to fall on our lap. But we will walk by faith, that we will take a step of faith. So God is stirring our nest, yours and mine. Sometimes difficulties come our way to stir us to make us strong in God so we depend 100% on God not on our strength and not on our abilities then we completely depend on God and just like that the eaglets take a step of faith and jump from the nest and fly they soar with the mother and they soar on above the clouds so God wants to strengthen you and me today with this word I hope you were encouraged as I read it and I was encouraged I just want to encourage you and tell you that God is with you and nothing is impossible with God let's pray together father we come to you thank you Lord that you are like the eagle hovering over us you are like the eagle stirring our nest you are like the eagle telling us do not be afraid I'm with you I will guide you and guard you Lord I pray that you give us the step of faith to take Lord boldly and come out of our comfort zones to glorify you, to honor you, to soar on wings like eagles. Lord, we thank you that you have said that you'll never leave us nor forsake us. We give you all the glory, all the honor, all the praise. We love you, Lord. We pray for anyone who doesn't know you. Lord, I pray that you touch their hearts, knock at their door of the heart, and tell them to ask you, Lord, to come into their hearts, be their Lord and their Savior. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Pray for anyone who's going through difficulties. Let them know that their nest is being stirred because they have to take a step of faith and walk by faith and not by sight. And that you are with us. That you have said that you'll never leave us nor forsake us. 
and that you are right with us, helping us to soar on wings like eagle, that you will strengthen us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I hope you were blessed today. just want to sing this beautiful song. <clears throat> I saw, I heard this one and I really like it. I hope I can do justice by singing it properly and nicely. Let's try. You who dwell in the shelter of the Lord, who abide in his shadow for life, say to the Lord, my refuge, my rock in whom I trust, and he'll raise you up on eagle's wings bear you on the breath of dawn make you shine like the sun and hold you in the palm of his hand the snare of the fellow will not capture you and famine will bring no fear under his wings your refuge, his faithfulness your shield, and he will raise you up on eagle's wings, bear you on the breath of dawn, make you shine like the sun, and hold you in the palm of his hand. The terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day. Though thousand fall about you, near you it shall not come. And he will raise you up on eagle's wings, bear you on the breath of dawn, make you shine like the sun. his hand for he, his angels he given a command to guide you in all of your ways upon their hands they will bear you up lest you dash your foot against a stone and he will raise you up on eagle's wings bear you on the breath of dawn make you shine like the sun and hold you in the palm of his hand it's a beautiful song i hope you liked it as much as i did just remember that god is always with you he is raising you up on eagle's wings and helping us so up above our problems up above our situations and nothing is impossible to God he is faithful I can testify to you that in my life I have seen millions and millions of goodness and mercy following me all through my life so I know that you and I can soar on wings like eagles and as he has said he'll never leave us nor forsake us have a wonderful day God bless you bye